Unidentified armed groups are causing panic in the downtown area. The central government has identified the perpetrators as a terrorist group and has announced they are preparing to suppress them. The terrorists are armed with the latest weaponry available, and the confrontation is expected to be tumultuous. Access to the downtown area has therefore been restricted. This isn't good. Not good at all. And now they're broadcasting it for all to see. Those fools. This will only make them more anxious. I don't think they wanted to drag this out anyway, but what they're doing now is goading us into action. I'll go buy us some time. For how long? Until the central government's lackeys come running? By the time the ACPU or Triangle gets there, it'll be too late. We have to apprehend them now. All right, then let's go. Stand down, Moran. I know how capable your subordinates are, but you're in over your head. These people are armed and dangerous. Those pea shooters of theirs don't stand a chance against me. Their bullets will just bounce off me as I pummel them. <sighs> I implore you to reconsider. Think for a second. Do you want to advertise to everyone that you are a Nikkei? Oh, yeah, you're right. They're on the move. Hmm. It looks to me like they intend on taking hostages. What? They're getting civilians involved in this? Those cowards. I ought to... If they take hostages, that will complicate matters. It could lead to civilian casualties. I realize that. We have no choice. We have to wipe them out. You say we don't have a choice, but you seem awfully thrilled about it. Is this not the simplest course of action? It is. I'll give you that. Okay, then. Let's go. Would you hold your horses for a damn minute? You can't go out there. Shouldn't a general be on the front lines of a skirmish? Why put yourself in harm's way when you can have your subordinates do the fighting? Ah... I get it. <laughs> you probably never considered that because you command too small a number. Hey, what are you implying? We can't get involved. If this gets out, we'll be in for a world of hurt. Moran, I have an important task for you. Stay by the back door and keep an eye out for any stragglers. If any of them manage to escape, things could escalate unnecessarily. Oh, okay. I'm on it. I trust that you'll do a fine job. I see you're quite adept at keeping her in line. Whatever do you mean? I don't believe that building has a back door, does it? Hmm. No matter. It would be best for her not to get involved in something this dangerous. True. All right. It's time we get into the thick of it. <laughs> Everyone, time to take out the trash. Multiple injuries were reported during a shootout in the Ark this afternoon around 3 p.m. Much to the relief of nearby residents, all injuries sustained were minor and no deaths were reported, including the terrorists. It is speculated that this incident was the result of gang rivalry. The reason for this speculation is due to footage captured by a journalist on the scene. Upon careful examination of the footage, two individuals can be seen. They are suspected to be the leaders of the organized crime groups Samakai and Hedonia. This is causing a huge... No! Sacre bleu! Both of your faces have been exposed to the media! Oh, mon dieu! At this rate, we won't be able to use the name Underworld Queen anymore. Mm, we might as well call you the Outland Queen. Don't get your knickers in a twist. So they saw our faces. What of it? No one will be able to connect us to this in any way. It's not like we're the ones committing a crime. R right. 
While I agree that we could have exercised more caution, the situation was critical. Every second counted. Yes, the fact we were photographed is a blunder on our part. But if you ask me, I don't find it to be a big deal. Our organization is well-versed in covering up and rewriting facts. Exactly. My queens, you are sorely mistaken! Le public know what you look like now. You look like armed thugs in that footage. And say exactly more what you're going to be perceived as. What are you talking about? Nothing's been confirmed yet. That's why you have to trust me when I say we've got it under control. The truth isn't what's important here. It doesn't matter in the slightest. They'll drag your names through the mud and spread calumny everywhere. And you want to know what will happen then? That deceitful slander will become la verite! In the minds of du public, they'll believe it as fact, even if they're not being present there with the entire picture. False rumors are something we can deal with. It's easy to put those to bed. Trebion. Then let's practice. Imagine on, I'm someone you meet while you're out and about. Wow, Nese Parozana! I saw you on TV recently. You're a gangster, right? So cool! That coat of yours must have cost a fortune! You probably won't got it by ripping someone off. You know that film producer from Tetra who went missing? I heard that you were the one who put the kibosh on her! Is that true? What the... What is this? I read an article on the internet where someone saw you walking outside. Lugging around in oversized suitcase. That's none of your business. Do you protest too much, perhaps? Should I take that as a yes? What are you talking about? Get lost. Hey, did you all hear that? She just told me to get lost! What in the world is going on here? I also read another article that said you're secretly meeting with a central government official. Are you two having a liaison clandestine? Or are you trying to curry favor? I bet I know a few ways that you attempt to do that. <laughs> That's enough. Alright, I'll stop. But you must comprehend there that this kind of situation will occur on a daily basis. <sighs> the people will be misled by this muckwacking and it will spur them into taking action against you. We cannot react, yet we also cannot sit by and do nothing. I think you're making mountains out of molehills here. I'd ask you to remember, Pretty, the first idol the Ark ever had. Think about how she perished. Hmm. <sighs> we mustn't permit anything like that to ever reoccur. If they give us trouble... I'll rough them up and send them packing. So you're proposing we harm civilians? <sighs> I realize the gravity of the situation. We can go into hiding and lay low at the secret mansion. None. If we do nothing, Le Lumeur will only become more malicious and manifold. The most efficacious way to deal with such mendacity is to cover it up. Any bright ideas? Certainement! You three must remain out of sight, out of mind, but you must also actively suppress these rumors. I believe I can kill two birds with one stone. The key is for both of you to become magazine models! You two will partake in a photo shoot for my new magazine, Amor Tetra! Once we've gotten some sizzling snaps of you two on the surface, we can publish them. And they'll <laughs> What? Huh? I... <sighs> <sighs> Thank you. 
I can see an island up ahead. Ooh, I see it! Can we get something to eat first? I've been so nervous about this that I haven't eaten since yesterday. What should we eat? I'm good with anything. Meat! I want meat! Did you all cook up some barbecue last summer? We certainly did. Oh my goodness, that was delicious. You bet it was. And you know who you can thank for that? Me, Mion, the god of fire. I handled all the cooking. You should have seen me. Even the god of the sea genuflected before me. I hope we get a chance to taste it as well. Well, it appears I have no choice but to unleash my secret skills once more. Hmm. <sighs> Don't remember. Ugh. No. Yeah, they stirred up some major trouble, so they're getting sent to the beach. Ugh. <sighs> They'll be the models, and you can take the photos. Here, take this. Apparently the film is somewhat limited, so you have to be discerning when taking photos. I asked if we could use our phones, but they said that doesn't have the same feel. Anyway, Mustang said he would take care of everything else, so don't worry. He even scouted out a great location that you'll be going to. I wonder how he manages to get this all done so quickly. Mm. <sighs> uh, <sighs> Cadet, you've got to help me. These two have been out of it ever since they were told about the photo shoot. Constantly belly aching about how this kind of thing is beneath the leaders of an organization like them. Help me cheer them up, will ya? I'm dying over here. Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, be sure to take the counters with you. It'll be on the surface, so it would be best to have a team of specialists on hand in case things go south. <laughs> I bet. Lounging on the beach is something pretty much every Nikkei dreams about. Ah, oh, I want to go too. I'd much rather hang out by the sea than have to deal with all this underworld queen crap. If a certain two individuals hadn't made such a mess of things, I'd have been able to join you. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, huh? What are you two apologizing for? I thought you both were pissed off about all this. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, wh what's gotten into you two lunkheads? I deserve to go up there more than either of you two. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, I've got to get going. There are a couple more people tagging along and they'll be here soon. This is my cue to leave. Goodbye. Sorry, but seeing Rosanna and Sakura so apologetic is creeping me out. It's like I'm watching someone pretend to be them. Ugh, gives me the willies. I'm out of here. Hey there, Commander! I decided to come along for the photo shoot. Me too! The boss recently started a magazine called Amor Tetra. And I was the cover model for the first issue. 
So, consider me an advisor. I'm here to offer some tips with photography, location scouting, and what kind of poses to go for. Not to mention, I'm getting a chance to see the ocean. This sounds like a dream. <laughs> I'll be assisting you both. I'll get to run around, carry heavy things, and eat delicious grub! <laughs> I figured Jackal would get a lot out of this, so I asked to bring her along. Thanks. Um... I've been told I'll be going as well. Hmm... Many of the people being sent on this mission have violent tendencies. And I've been tasked with putting a stop to any scuffles that may occur. Correct. We'll be heading into unknown territory. So, we may well encounter Situations where physical strength is required. They're letting a known criminal from the rehabilitation center like you wander freely? I know her! She's supposed to be super strong! People say she can crush a rock with her bare hands! So what? You can do that too. Oh yeah! I guess you're right. If I use my teeth, that is! Does that mean I'm strong too? Of course it does. Hello, Command. <sighs> oh, wow. There sure are a lot of people here. Close your eyes, Jackal. Pretend you didn't see her. Alright. Who are you? The name's Maiden. I've been assigned as your security escort. Nice to meet you. Mr. Mustang requested that my boss have me come and keep an eye on Guilty. Not to mention Rosanna and Sakura. I doubt they'll cause any trouble, but you never know. I've also been assigned to protect you, so I have a lot on my shoulders. I... I got excited about getting to go to the beach. What about the counters? Mary is coming? Peep! That scary doctor is gonna be there too! So not only do we have two gang bosses in tow... Peek! We're also cavorting with a known criminal. And now we've got a security guard keeping tabs on us. Eek! I'm glad you're not terrified of me, but that reaction was a bit... Commander, we'll be arriving soon. Oh my gosh, it's the ocean! The ocean! Come on, you guys! You too, Rappy! Quickly, quickly! <sighs> the ocean! The ocean! The, the ocean. <laughs> it's been a while. It feels just as wonderful as before. First things first, I'll locate a building that we can use as a clinic. We'll also proceed with our assigned tasks. Just a moment. What's gotten into you guys? We're at the sea, aren't we? The first thing we should be doing is changing into our swimsuits. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> You're right. It's been some time since we were here, so I suppose it slipped our minds. You wait here for a bit, honey. Uh, Viper, I didn't bring a swimsuit. What? Didn't I tell you to pack one? They're so uncomfortable. Huh. <sighs> You'd understand the appeal if there was someone you had feelings for. Feelings? 
I've got plenty of feelings. I like you, and I like Commander, too. <laughs> all right, all right. Can you at least help me put on my swimsuit? Sure. Um... Counselor... Should... I... Be wearing a swimsuit... As well? Oh, you may... Have to help me... Put it on... Since... My hands... Are... Restrained... I need your help... Steady now, girly... I'll do it for you... But... I don't trust you... Come on, don't be like that. You can trust me. Um... Well, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Don't feel like it. Me neither. You've already seen me in spicier clothes than that. So why make such a big deal about these stupid bikinis? Huh? Hmm. I'm not quite following. What's Rosanna talking about? Um... Oh, right! I, er... Uh, I just remembered that I left something somewhere else. I better go fetch it. I... I lived here in a previous life. My ancestors told me in a dream yesterday about a hidden item around here that'll boost my stats. Be right back. <sighs> What's going on, mister? Why aren't you saying anything? Sorry to keep you waiting. Up here, I'd have bought a new swimsuit ahead of time. Nah, this is for the best. You don't want to overspend. Commander, I've prepared a change of clothes for you. <sighs> I still say it would be nice if you helped me change, Counselor. Are those some kind of handcuffs you've got on? Yes. Aren't they uncomfortable? I'm used to it. Besides, I can take them off whenever I want. It's just that Counselor prefers I keep them on. That way, he can do whatever he wants. <sighs> Come again? Oh, since my hands are usually tied behind my back. The counselor can do whatever he likes when we meet. She has to be lying, right? Um, man oh man. It sure has been a while since I wore a swimsuit. Hey honey, check this out. Isn't it pretty? I got it especially for you. For your eyes only. <laughs> this swimsuit isn't even water resistant. It's just for show. When it gets wet, it becomes see-through. Would you like to see? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll go change. Me too. Mister, come with me. Can you lend a hand? Hmm. Mister? Can you hold this for me? Take it. It's a gift. 
This door doesn't lock. Could you hold the doorknob for me? Just hold it in place. Don't push it. Otherwise, it'll open. All done. I'm almost finished, too. Could you wait outside, mister? We'll be right out once we've finished up. Master? Why'd you come out alone? Could they be any more obvious? I'm about to go off. Obvious? About what? They're trying to get the commander to... Oh my! Those swimsuits look amazing on you. Mm. <sighs> How about we take some photos? <sighs>